What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the 3-0 Armored Trooper Votems Robo Do Rapidly Dog. That's right, my zillions. From uh, the 1983 Sunrise anime. Comes the latest in the Robo Do line. The Rapidly Dog Mecha. And boy, is this thing very, very cool. I want to thank 3-0 for sending this over for review. I, God, man, I've wanted to review something like this for quite a while. And this arc is beautiful. If you've seen even the opening of uh, Armored Troop of Votems, I, it's very similar. So I really think they captured the spirit already of the series right here. But this box is awesome all around. I really, really like it. You know, and here is all legal stuff. We get some, you know, uh, product photography up here. You saw the top. The bottom is very simple. But then you open it up for a nice window box here. You know, you got the whole figure laid out here with his accessories, his pilot. And then over here, you got a nice like negative image here and this is super super cool love 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 this i'm very excited to really dig into this guy um so without any further ado let's get to the review And here's Rapidly Dog out of the package, and it is a beautiful figure, man. The paint apps are gorgeous. The gimmicks are amazing. The articulation, everything about this is pretty incredible. If you're a fan of uh, this mech, this anime, this is definitely going to be something you're going to want. To help you along, 3-0 provides you with an amazing instruction booklet. Um... You know, with that awesome art again in black and white this time, which is great. Um, it has everything you're going to need, you know, like the installation, how everything moves, all the articulation points, everything. I suggest whenever you get a product like this to go through the directions and don't like just crazily jump into something because, you know, it's a collectible that's like 140 bucks. <laughs> so, you know, you want to do everything right and if the company is providing you with this level of detail in their directions yeah you know make sure you go through it make sure you learn everything uh because this is going to help you so like i said this thing has a metal frame i think i said that uh, and if i didn't say that this guy has a metal frame die cast zinc alloy uh but then there's other parts that are die cast like the shoulders and the feet uh, you know like it is heavy the arms over here heavy weight it is a heavyweight armored trooper after all that's the you know kind of official name of all this super solid really really solid figure You're like you know and that also means the joints you know be careful with them they are you know very tight but they're metal so you know you're not going to be like breaking them but, you know, do be careful nonetheless when you're moving uh, something like this. Now, a couple things you have to do out of the package. You do have to put on the antenna, uh, which are key, but it's so, so tiny that it's very hard to see exactly. Oh, and I, I guess I can pop that in all the way here. Um, and it's very hard to see. The one thing you do want to make sure is you see these little notches right here. Those go in front, you know, you might have to heat it up to get it in. I might have to do that um, to get it in all the way. But yeah, these you have to put in the antenna and then the backpack uh, in the back you have to attach, which just goes in like a kind of like a little clip in there and it clips in to the back, uh, which is cool. We can start there. The backpack is beautiful. It's all weathered and awesome. First, it's in a nice blue, and then the weathering on top of it just looks phenomenal. Really, really cool. The backpack does open up. Oh, like. You gotta get your nail in there. Like so. <laughs> like so. It's in it. So that opened up there. And then this opens up here. And you see this little thing. It comes down, the slides down. What you have for that is a little bomb. 
Don't lose the bomb. Um, which is done in a gunmetal. So it's a little bomb. And then you could pop it in the top. And then it'll slide out, you know, should you need it to. From there, you know, drops the payload. Um, and that's pretty cool. Uh, besides okay. the backpack that is attached, I do want to point out that all of uh, these, like, hip skirts are also attached via like a little hook thing do be careful with them when you're moving uh the joints you know move them out of the way because they can pop out on you um at least like the side ones and the back ones um and the more you do that you know the more you'll stress the plastic clips so do be careful just a little war word of warning not that i have had to you know deal with that but a couple of them did pop out i mean i did you know want to note that so Definitely, definitely noted. But those hip skirts, <laughs> we're doing this like as we go here, right? Uh, look really good too. Like, same thing as the backpack. It's got awesome, awesome weathering on it. Look at that. Look at like these little rivets on each end. Beautiful stuff. The back here is just done in gray, but man, I love this. And then you got this like green little thing here. That looks great. And look at all this. This is uh, such a neat an easy place to, uh, you know, put the three zero there, which is cool. You might have seen it says sample. Uh, that's because this guy is not out yet, so that is uh, pretty awesome. You know, I'm pretty uh, pretty lucky there. So thank you three zero um, for allowing me to do this so far in advance. Third quarter, guys. Third quarter, so you could get your pre-orders in still, and uh, that that's that's awesome. Um, because this guy's amazing. Look at all this work. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. Really, really nice stuff. Love it. Oh, these hip skirts are amazing. And moving down to the legs. Just, uh, just to show you what the upper legs look like. I love this, like, light like green, it looks awesome, like a green yellow almost. And again, the weathering is just, this guy looks like he just came out of the battlefield. That is superb. Check it all out. Love the back here. These look incredible. The feet, the bottom of the feet, you can see the joints in there. Look good, and then the threads here just are phenomenal. Check that out. The front here, these also have clips, by the way. Not clips, um, plates here. Well, I guess they're on clips uh, of some sort. They might be. I don't, I don't know if they are completely, but uh, they are on some sort of hinge. But these are very, very nice. Again, you got really beautiful, beautiful rivets there. The rivets all across the board are amazing. And I love that his like knee pads are asymmetrical. That's pretty neat. So everything uh, on the bottom here looks really, really good. Then you got the chest piece here, which does open up. We'll look at that in a second, but that opens up. Got these pieces here. And then uh, this thing here, which also opens up, a little grating in there. Really, really nice. Then you got these awesome shoulder pads, like I said, die cast. Really, really cool. This piece up here is not, this piece is attached. But the rest is die cast. See, it's red inside there. It's really cool. I love this piece. I love the texture on it. Very different really good and the arms looking good very nicely done another little thing here that closes and opens which is neat I like that that's really cool this is great sculpt here the fist is pretty pretty beautiful look at that man that is a great robot fist uh, no doubt about it. That is a great robot fist. Here is the other side. A little closer up here. Looking real good. Again, the weathering is just impeccable. And the claw arm. 
which is very, very cool. That's got a little gimmick. We'll look at it in a second as well. But just looking at it as it is, is pretty amazing. And then uh, this head sculpt, man, that is cool. Check that out. You got like a little uh, plastic in front of the eye parts there. The red looks awesome, like compound in there. That's really cool. And then that. Uh, this guy does not light up. You know, I know we've gotten a lot of light up gimmicks from 3.0, but this one does not. But it still looks amazing. I love the scope there. That looks really good. You know, it's just an awesomely domed head. Piece back there. Again, the, uh, even the, the, the antenna here are weathered. Now that I'm looking at it, like, super close. Look at that. <laughs> that is, uh, pretty, pretty awesome, guys. Uh, I think proportionally... It looks fantastic as well. It's just, just got that awesome, like, early 80s mecha, like, real metal, you know, ro real metal robot feel to it. Uh, I love it, man. The military robots, you know what I'm saying? This is this is very, very cool. It really works. I think they knocked it out of the park looks-wise, no doubt about so it. Let's check out some further uh, gimmicks and stuff. Um, first up, this eyepiece moves slides back and forth that is superb and then this piece opens so you would be able to see the pilot Chirico in there which we'll look at shortly too then you want to lift this up and you lift this up and you can see this there's all sculpt inside here which is incredible check that out that's all sculpted like it's a hatch that's amazing and then the whole interior here is sculpted. The seat, everything's like in like a gunmetal silver. Uh, and then you get some of that green in there as well, which is so cool. You get it here on uh, the controls. Got some like wiring in there. The uh, little controllers here. Do move. Do be careful. Uh, you can pop these out as well. So... You know, relax with that. And then that will move, you know, to put the pilot in. We'll check that out also in a second. All in due time. This, like, maintenance hatch opens up as well. I mean, you reveal his feet there, but it's pretty awesome. I uh, do dig that. And then we got some arm gimmicks here, which is cool. We have, like, a kind of like a rocket punch type of deal here. Where this arm slides... Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. <laughs> How did I find the right piece? It was right. It's this piece alone. I thought it was the whole thing that moved. So, this would fire forward. Now, there is a little effect part, and we'll check that out right now uh, for this arm. And it is a casing, shell casing, with some smoke out of it that you would pop in to right here. If I can get it, if I could get it on camera, there we go. So that would be popping out, you know, as he is punching because that's the <laughs> the force of it. Pops out a shell casing. So that's <laughs> pretty incredible, guys. I really like that a lot. So very, very nice. I love how that shell casing look. I love that idea, you know. That, that is awesome. And real quick, just zooming in on this. The smoke effect is really nice. The casing effect. The casing sculpt is really nice. And again, weathered on the gold. So beautiful. For the other claw arm, which is amazing looking. A uh, couple of things here. You know, you can slide this part forward as well. That's pretty cool. I like that. You could also slide it all the way back. And when you do that, you'd want to do that with this one and turn it like this. And that reveals a little gun inside, which is cool. I believe this is supposed to kind of pop out the gun a little bit, but for whatever reason, I can't seem to be able to do it, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to. It might just, you know, be there. 
but you know the directions look like the gun is further out i just can't seem to make it pop out you know what i'm saying like you definitely can't grip it or anything um at least i can't i would think this whole arm assembly moves backwards and then that pops out a little bit but i can't seem to be able to do it so i'm not gonna tempt the fates on it i'm not sure if it's supposed to but it is in there there is a gun that is revealed you know whether it's supposed to come out it's only supposed to be like a little bit further out so not a crazy deal here for me um but yeah just wanted to point that out there i don't think it's supposed to slide out because i don't see a way that it would but yeah there it is it reveals a gun uh so there's a couple things you could do with this claw and that's cool and uh, obviously you can see that you can move that fingers and you can move let me move this back a little bit to natural position uh you can articulate those claws as for the rest of the articulation there is a double jointed elbow here there is a swivel at the bicep the shoulder can come all the way out like that go back and forth it's cool this is on a hinge as you saw you can move this forward just a bit it's kind of hard on mine very very stiff on mine but directions show that it can move forward and it you can see this whole assembly can move up so i think you can there it goes there we go that one freed up let's see if i could do this one and i'm like working on it a little bit there we go it was a stiff click that you needed to work through but there is the articulation on that which is cool you get all the same articulation here you know double joint and stuff and uh, but this one has the the fists that are on a uh, ball joint then you have a swivel at the waist obviously this whole head swivels for the legs again move everything so you gotta move this stuff move everything and then you can ex extend the legs outwards nicely forward back you got the double joint at the knee it's cool this thing moves as well by the way you're gonna need that in a second for another gimmick uh it does all that but that's part of the gimmick there is a rocker here which rocks from up there you see that whole assembly just super cool there's a lot you could do with the uh with the ankles which is great the toes move which is nice so yeah oh there we go just to show you my hand was on it and it popped out so but yeah do be careful with those oh i didn't put it in it but there you go that's uh the, the gist of the articulation it, it's quite a bit and there's more things that kind of move but we'll you know i'm gonna show you that in a second with the uh crouching mode which is pretty cool but let's put pop that guy back in yeah articulation on this guy who's very compact is really really good not only all that but there's more articulation that converts him into his crouching mode but before we get to that i want to go through the rest of the accessories he comes at one relaxed hand as you see here which looks pretty cool and then we get this awesome gun which is attached <laughs> already to uh, uh this firing hand which looks really good it's got a trigger hand now this comes with this clip here that you put in check that out very very nicely done and then the gun itself the handy gun looks awesome really nice again in that blue you got you know it's kind of green at the end here like a military green and at this end as well looks really cool man i really like it a lot and it goes in pretty easily you just pop that out there's a big ball joint there and you pop that in and then you got his handy gun already the other thing of course is the pilot and it is sirico here or chirico however you want to say it kuyo i believe his uh last name is 
This is really cool. He's in an orange outfit. He's got a lot of nice detail for something small here. The boots. You know, you see the knee pads. Got some silver thing there. His little holster there. Uh, a holster on this side actually has a weapon. Which looks cool. The straps on the back look awesome. All that silver detail as well. See more silver detail at this elbow pad, which has a little thing that goes to the front there. That's pretty cool. You can see his belt buckles in there in silver. Then this like gas mask thing, oxygen mask. Looks pretty awesome. He's got goggles on. He's got this awesome metallic green on the helmet, which looks cool. It reminds me like if he took off the uh, glass and stuff, it looked like Alley Viper from G.I. Joe. Um, but this came out first, so this 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 is cool. This is very, very cool. So, to get him in here, as you saw earlier, we're going to lift this up. We're going to open this up. And then this, you want to push to the front. I, I do like to open this up as well, just so I could see where I'm going in there. You can see the feet. Slots in well. And now, the thing is, you're going to have to push this back, but getting his hands do fit in there but it's kind of tough for me at least to i think if you push it back to like properly slot them in his hands the controls well at the very least you could push them back so it looks sort of right you know like i can't seem to to do it very well i'll be honest um, because of the angle. I wish they articulated the shoulders a bit. I feel like they look like they should be, but they don't move. But, you know, it is what it is. He still looks really, really cool in there. And, you know, once this is down, you know, push that in. Oh, a little jammed here. Make sure that's all the way in. There you go. And there you have it. And when you open this up, you'll see... He is in there. You see his face in there. It's pretty slick. I like that a lot, guys. I think that looks really cool. And again, you see his feet when you open up that. So that is a very awesome. I love how he fits in there. It's it's just really, really cool, guys. It really is. Okay, so like I said, there's one last mode here, and that's the crouching mode. You do want to just make sure all of this stuff is lifted up. You also want to lift this up. It's on a hinge. So just prepares that uh and then the legs and i don't know if i mentioned this in articulation but they do have drop down joint so you want to be able to do that it doesn't drop down like super far or anything but just enough so you could you know do this mode pretty properly uh and then what you want to do is lift this all the way to the front the foot is going to kind of hinge like backwards like so again kind of tight do be careful so that's going to go all the way down you want that to kind of bend forward you know it can't bend forward too much because of the way it's kind of like hindered a little bit but that's pretty much what you want to do like that and then same on the other side with the foot, uh, take it out, go forward, make sure that's all back, like that, like that. You do want to be able to lift that just a bit, like so. And that's going to just rest on his back. The object is to get this and this kind of flat, you know, <laughs> depending on how you do it, it might not work out perfectly. But uh, I think, you know, with some finagling, and the more you do it, again, a lot of it is the stiffness of uh, some of the the joints, the uh, the metal in the joints. Uh, like, see, this one went up like this, and this one <laughs> kind of crashed down. But at the same time, he's flat, you know? Uh, so that's the crouching mode. You want to put everything down afterwards. Uh, and then, yeah, he's in crouching mode, you know, and then he could roll along like a tank, you know, it's kind of cool. I do dig that. 
So yeah, totally flat on mine. Just nice. Again, <laughs> the two legs didn't do the same exact thing, but you know, just maneuver it and then you could get it in the right position. But there you go. Crouching mode is a thing you could do. And it's kind of cool depending on, you know, uh, how much you like this in the series or just like this as a, an option for your toy, but it's definitely a thing you could do. And for your size comparisons, first up, here is a bunch of other mecha and robots you might have in your collection, including the very similarly styled walker machine from Zabungo, same era, and um, this awesome dude from uh, Joy Toy. Bo both of these I just busted out, out of my backlog uh, to compare uh, to the Rabidly Dog, and I think they compare pretty well. I mean, this guy's a little bit big, but still, these guys, these guys work really well together. And for some size comparisons, oh, with some more three zero products, here's Rabidly Dog with the M Deluxe Bumblebee and Optimus, the recently reviewed War Machine and Ultra Suit Zero, the 2018 figure of the year here on the channel, uh, Bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie, and of course, the amazing uh, Robo Do of Voltron. So there you go. Expect to see more Three Zero on the channel. They make amazing, amazing figures. I actually have two big, big ones in my backlog uh, that uh, I picked up and in the last couple of years and uh, haven't done yet. So. There's a big uh, review number coming soon, and uh, you may see one of those two in that slot, so stay tuned. And my final thoughts, another awesome product here from 3.0. This is really superb. I love the gimmicks. I love the paint. I, I love the articulation. Yes, it's a little stiff because of the joints, but I appreciate that. I love die cast, so uh, this is amazing. I love the pilot inside. It just fits really well. You know, the crouching gimmick, uh, you know, I'm probably not going to do it beyond what I've done here <laughs> and uh, for a shot on Instagram, uh, but, you know, it's cool that it could be able to do that, man. That's some uh, amazing engineering, so kudos to 3.0. This thing is incredible. If you're a fan of this anime or anime like this, I think this is well worth your time, and yes, it is well worth the money. Um, I know some people think it's small, but like, you know, it is solid. It has a lot of stuff, um, and I think it's well worth it. And I think you'll think it's well worth it once you have it in your hand. So if you have interest, definitely don't hesitate. You can still get this guy on pre-order. Uh, check him out at, you know, Entertainment Earth or BBTS or through 3.0 themselves. I'm not sure, 100% sure of the availability of that there in pre-order, but do make sure to check it out, <laughs> is what I'm saying. It is awesome. Thanks again for 3.0 for sending this out. It is superb. And there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.